Welcome to the Finding Orthogonal or Orthonormal Basis video tutorial. The following two examples will show you how to form an orthogonal or orthonormal basis given a set of vectors. Example 1. Using the standard inner product, convert the following set of vectors to an orthonormal basis. First, we want to define the vectors v1, v2, and v3. Step 1. Type v1. Notice to get the subscript, we are holding down the shift key and entering an underscore, comma, v2, comma, v3, colon equals. Step two, control and drag the vectors from the question. So we do this by selecting the vectors in our question, holding down the control key and dragging them into our equation. Step three, press the enter key. Now we have assigned the vectors in our question to v1, v2, and v3. Then we are going to define the vector w1. We do this by typing w1 colon equals v1. Press the enter key. Now let us determine the vector w2 equals v2 minus the component of v2 along w1. This is the same as saying w2 equals v2 minus the projection of v2 on w1. Step 1. Type w2 colon equals and the rest of the formula defining this vector. So the formula is v2 minus and the easiest way to enter this is to use a placeholder 1, hit the slash key, and enter the denominator first. So on the denominator we have w1 dot product and you'll find the dot product symbol over here in our common symbols palette and then w1. And then if you hit the up arrow, this moves us to the numerator and we can replace 1 with v2 dot product w1. And we multiply this by w1. Step 2, press the enter key. And here we have our vector for w2. Now let us determine the vector w3 equals v3 minus the component of v3 on the span of w1 and w2. This is the same as saying w3 equals v3 minus the projection of v3 on w1 minus the projection of v3 on w2. Step 1. Type w3 colon equals and the rest of the formula defining this vector. So we have the formula as v3 minus so once again, we want to use the placeholder 1, press the slash key, and enter the denominator, which is w1 dot product w1. Now pressing the up arrow to enter the numerator, we replace 1 with v3 dot product w1. And we multiply this fraction by w1. And then continuing the formula, we have minus, enter placeholder 1, press the slash key, and enter the denominator, which is w2 dot product w2. Press the up arrow to enter the numerator and replace 1 with v3 dot product w2. And we multiply this fraction by w2. Step 2, press the enter key. And here we have determined vector w3. Notice that the three vectors that we have defined, w1, w2, and w3, form an orthogonal basis for the set of vectors given in our problem. However, since we want an orthonormal basis, we must continue and normalize these three vectors. Let us first normalize w1. Step 1. Type w1 and press the Enter key. Step 2. Open the context menu, select Normalize and Euclidean. Step 3. Open the context menu once more, select Assign to a name, and enter u open square bracket 1 close square bracket. Click OK. Now let us normalize w2. Step 1. Type w2 and press the enter key. Step 2. Open the context menu, select normalize and Euclidean. Step 3. Open the context menu once more, select assign to a name, and enter u open square bracket 2 close square bracket. Click OK. And finally, let's normalize W3. Step 1. Type W3 and press the Enter key. Step 2. 
Open the context menu, which we do by right-clicking. Go to Normalize and select Euclidean. Step three, open the context menu once more, select Assign to a name, and enter U, open square bracket, three, close square bracket. Click OK. Now let us exhibit the orthonormal basis vectors. We type the sequence of vector names and press the Enter key. So over here, we want to enter open curly bracket, U1, comma, U2, comma, U3, and close curly bracket. Now press the Enter key. And here we have our set of orthonormal basis vectors. This concludes example one. Example two. Find an orthogonal basis for the column space of the following matrix. First, let us find the column space of A. Step one, go to Tools, Load Package, and select Student Linear Algebra. Step two, control and drag the matrix. We do this by selecting the matrix in our question, holding down the control key, and dragging it over here. Step three, open the context menu, select vector spaces, and column space. And here are three vectors that make up the column space of A. Now let us define the vectors V1, V2, and V3. Step one, type V1. Notice to get the subscript, we have to hold down the shift key and enter an underscore comma v2 comma v3 colon equals step two control and drag the vectors from the column space so now we want to select these vectors hold down the control key and drag them into our equation step three press the enter key now let us define the vector w1 step one type w1 colon equals v1 Step two, press enter key. Then we are going to determine the vector w2, which equals v2 minus the component of v2 along w1. This is the same as saying w2 equals v2 minus the projection of v2 on w1. Step one, type w2 colon equals and the rest of the formula defining this vector. We have the formula as v2 minus and we use one as a placeholder and press the slash key on our keyboard and enter the denominator first, which is w1 dot product, and you'll find the dot product symbol over here in our common symbols palette, w1. Now if you press the up arrow key, this moves us to the numerator and we can replace one with v2 dot product w1. And we are going to multiply this fraction by w1. Step two, press the enter key. And here we have to find our vector w2. Now let us determine the vector w3, which equals v3 minus the component of v3 on the span of w1 and w2. This is the same as saying w3 equals v3 minus the projection of v3 on w1 minus the projection of v3 on w2. Step one, type w3 colon equals and the rest of the formula defining this vector. So we have the formula as v3 minus, and we use one as a placeholder, and enter the slash key on our keyboard, and then type w1 dot product w1. Press the up arrow key to replace one in the numerator with v3 dot product w1. And we multiply this fraction by w1. And then we continue the formula with minus, enter 1 as a placeholder, press the slash key, and enter the denominator as w2 dot product w2. Press the up arrow key to replace 1 in the numerator with v3 dot product w2. And you multiply this fraction by w2. Step 2, press the enter key. Now we have defined w3. Finally, let us exhibit the orthogonal basis vectors. We do this by typing the sequence of vector names and pressing the enter key. So let us enter open curly bracket w1 comma w2 comma w3. Close curly bracket. Now press the enter key. And here we have our set of orthogonal basis vectors. If we had been asked for a set of orthonormal basis vectors, we could continue by normalizing each of these vectors. 
and our set of normalized vectors would form a set of orthonormal basis vectors. This concludes example two. Thank you for watching the Finding Orthogonal or Orthonormal Bases video tutorial.